Hello, I'm Tom Nodziak. Now recently, I went to German Bundesliga club ASV Grünwettersbach, and I spent some time there with the head coach, Rade Markovic. And I asked Rade, I said, Rade, give me some of your table tennis tips. Tell me what you think people need to do to get better at table tennis. So in this video, we're gonna hear Rade's first tip. And his first tip is all about trying to be looser when we play table tennis, trying to play in a more relaxed way with our strokes. Because when we're tight and when we're stiff, it's difficult to play table tennis well. So Rade is going to talk about the importance of being loose and give a couple of ideas about how you can be more relaxed when you play table tennis. Okay, over to Rade. Many people which are playing table tennis, amateur or, or uh, half professional, they, they are forgetting uh, to relax during the playing. They start to be too stiff in the body, they are too stiff in the underarm. We cannot forget, ball is only 2.7 grams. We don't need unbelievable lot of the power, power to put ball over, uh, over, over the nets. This part of the arm, it has to be relaxed and soft. Then you can control ball much better and you can also accelerate under arm, under arm much better then uh, it means you will play harder ball faster ball better control ball with the relaxed underarm instead of the stiff one and if i want to play harder i just accelerate underarm bit and i play harder but i don't use it use uh, extra strength of my body that I'm too stiff. I'm soft and relaxed and I'm trying to transfer the weight from the right to the left leg by the forehand, for example. When I make spin, I try to transfer body weight, then with the body weight I put more power in the ball without using extra energy. And like this, I can play 10 hours without, uh, without uh, using so much energy. This is the same like a swimming. For example, there are people like me, which are fighting against the water. I can swim 50 meters and I'm die. I think I die. I think this is the hardest sport on the, on the world. And my wife, she can swim two hours without, for her, for her, this is like walking. This is just a technique. And table tennis is the same. Okay. Same with the back end. I'm relaxed and I use my underarm. And if I want to play harder, I just accelerate a bit more and take a power from my left leg and a hip. For the, by the back and this other way around, I transfer away a bit from the left to the right leg. But all the time I stay soft and my underarm is uh, not unbelievably relaxed, but still relaxed enough that I can accelerate. Not forget to breathe. You have to breathe, breathe out because you, I saw many many players in their life. They start with a point, and they are like like a bulls. They, they they start like this, and they are in 10, 10 seconds in this position. If I do ten seconds like this, I get a, a muscle fever in uh, all my body. I have to play a ball, then relax. Table tennis is uh, very similar to the box. I mean, each of us we know how box looks like. Boxers are soft, and then in a moment they react. Then speed comes out but then again they are soft and this is the same table tennis you make one movement then you need to do uh, during the movement you have tension in your in your stomach you have tension in your body you transfer the weight but then you breathe out that you are ready for the next one i don't play like uh, uh, uh. this is a uh, no chance to to keep the tension seven sets you play one movement you breathe out next movement you breathe out and this is something what is important. You don't, uh, many players forget to breathe. So there's some nice tips there from Rade about the importance of being loose 
and relaxed when you play. And certainly the breathing thing, this is something I'm very guilty of. You know, I forget to breathe in between points. Start to get tighter and tighter as you play. So that's something that you can work on, sort of this idea of playing, breathe out. Play your shot, breathe out. Um, and that can just help keep everything a little bit looser. Okay, thank you very much for watching. And um, thank you to Briber and Eula uh, for supporting this video. I'll have more videos coming soon and some more tips from Rade coming up in future videos. Um, if you liked, please subscribe and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.